Hey everybody, Jay here from Modern Mississauga. Uh, this is a bit of a different start to my car review on the uh, brand new 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV. So uh, I wait till the end of my week with the car to do the video. That way I get a full uh, week's worth of driving in it. So with this EV, um, I have done 355.7 kilometers. Range is about 383. You can see uh, that's what I've done so far. And that's what, where is that? There, so I've got 40 kilometers left. So theoretically, I could do 395.7, but that doesn't take a new, um, uh, take a new, or it doesn't include, sorry, um, what's in the car if I'm using the radio, if I'm using the uh, heating or air conditioning and how aggressive I am. But I've been pretty happy and impressed so far. So uh, I'm going to charge it up overnight tonight. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that um, uh, through various driving styles. And I'll explain this more in the rest of the video. Um, the Bolt is is pretty bang on uh, as far as their estimated range. Um, but that's it for now. And enjoy the rest of the video. Hey everybody, Jay here again from Modern Mississauga. Looking at the 2017 Chevrolet Bolt. Uh, first portion of the video was just showing you the mileage I had done, the battery life I had used, and uh, today, um, well, the second part, which is a different day, uh, we'll do a quick walk around of the exterior. So it's not a bad looking vehicle, it's a little on the round side and egg shape, but it's aerodynamic and that's really what matters here. Uh, a couple of quick things to note, um, here you'll see that there are two rear view cameras. Uh, that's a better view, one for the wide angle, one for the, uh, the regular one. And a cool thing, there is a washer jet right there that uh, cleans the pump for you uh, to always keep your rear visibility high. Um, very, very cool. I really like that about it. Um, no tailpipes because there is no engine. Very cool. Uh, orange turning signals integrated. Where's my finger? Right there. And your reverse lights. Uh, let's take a look at the turn, the, uh, the rear lights. It's got a really cool um, pattern to it. It looks really nice when it's lit up at night. So I definitely like that as well. We'll open up the trunk and a quick walk through here. So it's kind of got like a Nissan inspired divide and hide-ish kind of thing. So there's your tray. You lift it out, you get some cargo space in there. And you take a look right, right there. There's two different levels. You can get it there, you can get it there. Uh, just put that back together. Um, yeah, so it's, you know, an extra cool little touch. Uh, the seats go down full flat uh, because it's a flat bottom car because of the battery pack. And there is a total of 1,603 liters of space. Uh, I'll show you that in the next portion of the video. Just wanted to show you a quick once over on that. We're on the passenger side. Uh, again, you know, it still looks good. Um, get out of the sun here. Oh, uh, with the top tier uh, Premier model, which I have, uh, you get cool rims out of it. Um, I, I'm not usually a fan of GM uh, design rim or GM's rim designs, but these one look, these ones look pretty uh, cool and sporty. You know, not bad what you're doing on an electric vehicle. Uh, there is the LED headlights or uh, fog lights right there, just regular headlights. Cool logo with a bold AV with like uh, lightning bolt uh, included there. Your windshield wipers fold outwards uh, as opposed to just going uh, one way. Um, yeah, that pretty much wraps up the outside of the vehicle. Uh, a lot more interesting things happening on the inside. Uh, the last thing I'll show you is the charging port, which is right there. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, we're back looking at the inside of the 2017 Chevrolet Bolt electric vehicle. Uh, so we'll just start up the vehicle. You hear nothing and that is pretty all right. So just, uh, we'll start off here. Last night, it was about, I think, 44, 45 kilometers um, to get, or uh, left of the battery life. I had it plugged in just on a regular 120 volt in my garage from around, I think, nine till around nine o'clock this morning. So 12 hours didn't really get me a lot. Um, again, through the regular charger, um, there is uh, the uh, 240 adapter that you can get professionally installed. There are fast charging stations uh, across Mississauga. Not nearly enough, but again, it's new technology, so it's gonna take a little while before 
Um, we have the infrastructure to be able to support getting additional charging stations to accommodate the large volume increase for it. So uh, right off the bat, uh, we're looking here at the eight inch dashboard screen and right here looking at the 10.2 inch uh, center um, center infotainment system. So we just go to, uh, yeah, we'll go to home and I'll do a quick, um, uh, a quick walk through here. So that's what happens. That's what happens. It's my last full charge. Um, and you get your basics, you get your radio, you get your phone. Uh, but the important thing here is the energy uh, aspect. So uh, driving and accessories have taken up 98%, climate settings 2%. Um, I had it during the second last week of September. It was extremely hot. I've driven this car hard. I've driven it very passively. I've had the aircon jammed. I've been to downtown Toronto, um, stuck in traffic with my girlfriend. Um, and through all of that, uh, all the different driving styles, uh, using the HVAC stuff and I keep magazine boxes in the back of the car for this specific model um, Just to simulate the extra weight because I guess it's kind of rare that you'd be driving this thing all by yourself all the time So I had about a hundred and twenty hundred and thirty pounds of magazines uh, in here at all times and I was still able to squeeze out 355.9 kilometers out of almost an entire charge. I probably would have hit the 400 mark um, if I really, really pushed it hard uh, and got every ounce of energy out of the battery. Anyways, back to here. Uh, that's your main screen. You have a uh, energy score. Mine kind of sucks. Um, just it, it was so hot on Sunday the 24th. Uh, it was outdoors um, for most of the day. But when I got back in the car, just wanted the aircon, just wanted to be cool. So yeah, my driving score is 2.4 um, since the last full charge, which is seven days ago. Uh, you keep carrying on your efficiency history, um, pretty self-explanatory. It's been up and down and that's the point of me doing a thorough road test with this uh, to show real world uh, examples of just what it will look like and what your scores will be like. And then you're back to your home screen, or sorry, your home energy, energy screen. Uh, a couple of other cool things is GM is touting this as their one pedal car. So let me just get out for a sec and right there, where is it? Yeah, sorry, right there is a uh, paddle shifter. And what that does is that allows you to slow the car down um, without using your brake pedal. And get the brake and gas pedal right there. So either A, you can uh, lift off the gas and slow down, but if you really want to capture as much regenerative braking power as possible, um, you just gotta pull on that. It takes about a half second to kick in. Um, and after that, it's a pretty abrupt stop, which is a little jarring uh, if you're not used to it, but the more you do it, the more you, uh, you'll be able to figure out your sensitivities. And yes, the rear brake lights go on, which is the most important part of this. Um, and if you're just coming to a stop and somebody rear ends you, yes, it's their fault for uh, causing the collision, but it's still an awesome safety thing that GM's kicked in with this. Uh, hard plastics around here and you know, whatever, it's for weight, um, as in reducing weight. So I don't really care that much. If it was a higher end car, I'd probably complain. Uh, get hard plastics all the way throughout, piano black trim. Another very cool feature is the rear view mirror. So there I am, there's my hand, there's the camera and there's a little toggle switch. And if I flick it, it turns into the wide angle rear view camera. So yes, there's a bunch of blind spots in the car, especially out the rear. So, you know, you're taking a look at that large pillar and the headdress, which can be, can be taken off at a relatively small uh, rear uh, window. But this is pretty awesome. Um, again, just I know that the, oh, the last car I saw this one in, that I actively drove was a Kia Soul from 2011. But that was when you, you know, you had to put the gear, the car in gear to get that uh, feature. But it's a pretty sweet camera. It's very, very clear. Um, yeah, I, I full marks to UGM for, uh, for doing that. And then you flick it back. So not only will you have a rear view camera, car in reverse. So you get your around view monitor there. You get your true backup camera there. And then you get your third rear camera or third rear uh, vantage point. So 
you shouldn't really have any excuses for bumping into or hitting anything uh, in the bolt with so many uh, safety features here. And there's um, blind spot monitoring and forward collision alert and your rear parking sensors. So uh, what else can we take a look at here on the dash? Um, your volume controls are tucked under here. Uh, just, you know, save space. You get to run through your menus through this uh, little configuration on the right side. So you swing it to the left and you just go down and you get your vehicle info, audio info, uh, phone, OnStar, navigation option, uh, layout and different options otherwise. There is no actual navigation on the car, um, but there is Android Auto and Bluetooth, uh, not, sorry, uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So you just plug your phone in and you sync it and then you should be uh, just fine uh, as far as that goes. Uh, the gear shifter. Um, kind of hard to screw this one up um, as far as picking any potential wrong gears but you know I'm in park which is a button and you push your shifter like that and you go down you get drive you get down again you get low um, and low mode uh, happily features you know when you take your foot off the uh, gas pedal um, it automatically gets the uh, the regen power uh, back to the battery uh, reverse is also easy, so you put your thumb on P for park. Uh, just an immediate example here. And up and to the left. So pretty easy to run through, to, uh, saves up a, uh, frees up a, bu a bunch of space here. Two cup holders, a little thing for something or whatever you want. A couple of USB ports. Here's what I like the most. This massive amount of space here is great just to throw stuff in here and not worry about it moving around or rolling around. I would have liked to see the edges be a little higher so you can throw more stuff in there, but hey, I'm just being picky right now. And there's a divider right there. Um, it's a cool floating design overall. Uh, I'll jump into the rear seats in a minute and show you that side of it. Um, but yeah, I like the design lines as they swing this way and go down and kind of just go back up like that. Uh, this actually lights up blue, uh, just underneath the entire uh, trim uh, at night. So very, very cool. Uh, back to the steering wheel, um, because GM's jammed a bunch of buttons here. So that's your cruise control, it's your seat, um, heated steering wheel. That's your distance control for the cruise control. You put your favorites here. So I like it, it's, it's kind of a cool way, I don't, particularly like that they're on opposite sides. Um, I would have preferred, so the volume controls are back here. I would have rather had the volume controls on this side to go with the radio so everything's accessible with one hand. And um, yeah, it, anyways, it's just a nitpicky thing for me again. Um, that's, uh, that's okay. Your light controls are there and your dimmer brightener for the dashboard is there as well. You got a cup holder, a map holder. Um, your hood release is uh, tucked down there as well. No sunroof because sunroofs are heavy and sunroofs uh, affect your power to weight ratio since this is an EV, nearly 400 kilometers. They're looking to keep the car as light as possible. Hence the hard plastic uh, lighter materials and the no sunroof. Um, as far as charging goes, um, so you can do a full charge in about nine and a half hours through the available 240 volt um, home charger which has to be professionally installed so you don't blow all the electricity in your house uh i you can do a dc fast charging gets you 145 kilometers worth in about half an hour um so that kind of gets you enough juice to get you hopefully to uh, to and from wherever it is you're going the home charger it's it's not advised sorry not the home charger just like your regular 120 volt uh when i got in the car this morning it was pretty much at that and it said it would be fully charged by 6.15 the next morning. So we're looking at the better part of two days um, if you just keep it in. So maybe if you're going on vacation, do that. Uh, back to the dash. Right now I've got 90 kilometers of range. That's my optimal point. I can get as high as 114 if I drive very, very sensibly and you know don't slam down on the gas pedal and use the regen brake. Um, 
uh, paddle shifter here. But if I drive like a jerk and floor it and put the air conditioning on, open all the windows, put the USB ports in to use all the electricity, and just if I drain the car as fast as possible, the minimum amount of mileage I'll get is 73 kilometers. So it's very cool that it shows both of those. I'm sorry, all three of those, your max, your, your expected, and your min. Uh, I don't know if I can show it here, but what will show up in as you're driving is there's a little car uh, outline there, and if it's, if it's green, you're the proper space away from the car in front of you. Get a little too close, it turns yellow, and if you get too, too close, it goes red, the car starts beeping at you, and just it's it's, it's a cool little feature um, that I like that GM did. There's a lot of cool safety features in here as well. Um, I still love that it does the uh, rear camera in the rear mirror. Very nice there. The seats are comfortable-ish. They're a little thin for me. I'm a little wider on the top than I am on the bottom. I will get out and just quickly show you that from this side. And you know they're they're thin um, as far as the back part of it go. But you know whatever. It's if you're really that uncomfortable, get something aftermarket and just. Um, you know, like a back pad or something. Uh, back here in the rear seats, there are two more USB ports. Um, again, hard plastic to keep the uh, the weight down. And there's a good look at the car, uh, the front part of the car um, from the rear seats. It's a cool layout. It's modern. I'm happy GM has finally done something good like this. You know, not that their cars were bad, um, but it's good to see that they've taken such a leap forward with the bolts as far as the interior design and the uh, the modernness of it there are the rear seats so you fit three too comfortably for sure there's your collapsible armrest with your two cup holders as well uh, i will quickly throw the seats down to show you kind of what the uh full uh rear cargo capacity is so bear with me for a moment all right so that's what we're looking at uh, yes, this thing can go and be just simply removed, but just to give you an idea. That's the uh, 1,603 liters of space that go in there So uh, I think that pretty much wraps it up. I know it's a longer video than usual, but there's Excuse me. There's a lot to talk about here with the bolt uh, Acceleration is incredibly fast um, Absolutely wonderfully fast uh, So the torque rating is 266 pound-feet horsepower equivalent is uh, 200 and zero to 100 in I think six and a half seconds. So it's it's really fast and you trip the tires sometimes by accident. You don't know how fast you're going, but that's, uh, it, it's great. You know, if you want to get on the highway, if you want to avoid a collision, if you need to just, you know, maneuver yourself out of a dangerous situation, you definitely have the ability to do so here. Uh, so it's a 60 kilowatt battery that um, that's powering this thing and it's flat. So that's how you get so much space and so much comfort in the rear seats uh, because it's a flat pack battery. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, some awards, it's won Motor Trend Car of the Year, North American Car of the Year, 2017 Green Car of the Year. Um, I think this is gonna be a game changer. You know, not everyone has all the money for a Tesla and I don't know when the Model 3 is really gonna come out and how affordable it's gonna be because no one's gonna go, sorry, very few people are gonna go for the actual base model off the Tesla Model 3, you're gonna want your add-ons and some creature comforts and all that. Uh, one last thing, I guess, to show you is the center console, or center armrest, so there's that. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, so you got a fair, oops, that's my, that's my side, nobody wants to see that. So that's a fairly deep uh, space, like my forearm pretty much fits all the way in there. Very cool, you throw in your top section too get a little more space in there so overall i really really like the bolt uh i love that i was able to pretty much max it out as far as um mileage sorry, epa uh, estimated mileage people will get more people will get less it's gonna be uh, a different story in the winter because you'll be using your heated seats uh, which are right there on the premier model you'll be using the heated steering wheel and just the heat in general so hopefully i'll be able to get this back in the winter and do a comparative uh, summer winter test um, yeah so until then uh, thanks for watching any questions at all that you have please send them my way i will do my best to answer them and uh, thanks for watching everybody